Since announcing Catfish Baits UK's website, I've been inundated with loads of questions and uh, what bait we do, um, how to use it. So I thought I'd put a very quick video together um, and hopefully it will give you an idea into what we've been working on the last few months. Right, three rigs have done me really well over the last few years. Pretty basic, nothing too technical, um, basically uprated carp rigs. Right, first one is this is all done with this is our Mac Attack pop up 22 mil, and this is a Mac Attack pellet uh, 22 mil red pre drilled. And this is just a single one of each with a little weight there. I don't know if you can see the weight. So basically it's a pop-up and you can adjust it to the depth. I tend to fish it about two inches deep. Um, that's been doing really well for me this season. That's one rig and I'll show you it in the tank afterwards. Another rig, if you are getting bothered by carp and one thing and another, is two pellets and a single pop-up. Now this I fish as a snowman but you need to trim this pop up. Just give it a little trim so it just sits down nice and it sits flat on the bottom on top of your hook. And this one is one of my all time favorites, the block ring. Six pellets, two pop ups. That way it will actually sit on the bottom just like that. The idea of our pop ups are one size, will do all the rigs. Instead of having to have different size pop-ups, with this one, two will do the block, and one will do your snowman, or a pop-up. So, yeah, that's the idea of one size, so you're not buying all different size pop-ups. I'll show you the rigs in a minute. Going into the tank first is the block rig. Two Mac Attack pop-ups, and six Mac Attack pellets. Second in, one I've been using a lot this year, is the one Mac Attack pop-up and the one Mac Attack pellet. Counterbalanced with a one swan shot. Number three is the snowman, the one that needs a little bit of trimming. It's two pellets and one pop-up. If you put it in, it sits like this, it floats. So it's a case of getting your scissors out. Trimming a bit, it's trial and error. Still needs quite a bit, that one. A lot depends on the size of your hook. If you're using a bigger hook, obviously you won't need to trim so much. I would probably still trim a little bit more. No, that's probably about it. That would probably do me. They are three of my favourite pellet rigs. All work well in the Mac Attack and the Squid Stew range. Hope that gives you some ideas.